Hey y'all, welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren, and today I'm going to do my last turkey before Thanksgiving. So, And today what I'm going to do, I actually already broke this turkey down, and I did a video. I'm going to have it up in the card above here. You'll be able to watch it, because this is going to be coming out on my Teaching Tuesday uh, series. So I broke this turkey down. I, I separated the breasts the thighs and the legs. I, uh, I broke this turkey down because I'm going to cook it sous vide and I'm going to cook the white meat and the dark meat at two different temperatures to make it a lot easier to uh, get the, the, the meat done, uh, the white meat and the dark meat done at the proper times. Um, instead of trying to shoot in the middle of you know the, where, where the white meat's supposed to be and the dark meat, I'm going to do them two separate temperatures so that they can come out perfect on both of them. I'll be right back. This is going to be a little different than my last couple uh, turkey videos I did, which I spatchcocked those and I finished one on the Kamado Joe and one on the Camp Chef. Well, this will be finished on the Camp Chef pellet grill as well. But what I'm going to do with this one is a little bit different. Like I said, we're going to cook the white and dark meat separately sous vide. I done, I, you know, I did break the turkey down, but I'm also going to inject the meat with a nice injection. I didn't dry brine this turkey at all or wet brine it. It does, you know, it, since it is a store bought, it's a Publix brand turkey. It did have a, uh, you know, brine solution in it already. But I am going to season it before I put it in the sous vide bag. So we are going to season it with some of this running wild poultry rub I just got. And I'm going to use a little bit of garlic, pepper, kosher salt, and a little bit of this for the injection as well. So I'm not going to try to over season it. So I'm not going to put a whole bunch of stuff on the outside. But I am going to use this in the injection. So I'm going to be right back and show you what I'm going to do with I'm going to get injection. my injection going. And I'm going to put this up on a medium heat. And what I'm going to do is the first thing you put in, I'm using a stick of butter, if you can see in there. Um, it can be salted or unsalted. It's a personal preference to what you want. If you're going to have salted butter, just make sure you understand, you know, so when you do season your chicken, you don't want it to be over salted. And I'm also going to be using some chicken broth that's also salted. So just pay attention when you're using products that already have salt in them. Just make sure you don't over salt them by using more salt. You'll have a lot of problems with over salt in your meat, especially in a turkey that's already got some kind of salt already in the brine because it's a commercial brine. So, but I'm going to let that butter melt and I'm going to put, this is about a half a cup of um, chicken broth or yeah, just chicken broth. Well, just a little bit more than a half a cup in there and let that mix together. Okay, my oven just went off, telling me I'm roasting those bones for some stock from what I did with the uh, other parts of the turkey. So that's just telling me my oven's up to temp. The bones are already in there. So I'm going to take my tablespoon and I'm going to add about two tablespoons of this running wild poultry rub. And I'm going to be using my big, um, big injector with the big hole in it. So some of these herbs that are in there are going to be able to go through the uh, injector. So it's another thing you got to look out for. And I'm going to do about a tablespoon of garlic powder. Like I said, I'm going to use just a little bit of salt since we have a lot of salt already. So maybe like a half a teaspoon not much at all and then just a little bit of fine ground pepper and that's it guys I'm gonna it's a simple injection and we're, what we're trying to do is just get some of this poultry seasoning flavor in there and the butter the fat's gonna keep it moist as well Especially in the white meat, it's going to have that extra unks because of the fat. So we're going to let this butter melt, and we're going to let this incorporate, and we'll be right back. Yeah, I took my um, injection off the stove, and you can see. I'm going to let it cool down just a little bit. It's 
kind of steamy here. I don't want to make it uh, inject it when it's really, really hot into the meat. I don't want it to cook the meat. I just want it to flavor the meat from the yeah, inside. So it's been rid of about five minutes. And this is cooled down enough. Um, this is just a simple injection that I threw together. You know, people can buy the pre-made ones like Tony Satchery's or Cajun Injector uh, stuff. Um, you can put cayenne pepper. You can put pretty much any flavoring you want in these injections. You know, I just like the simple one. Um, sometimes, you know, my kids don't like really hot or spicy stuff, so I'll leave the cayenne pepper out. So these injectors are really easy to use. I'm using the big syringe, so you just put your syringe down and you just uh, pull it back, and you got your injection in there. And like I said, we're just gonna plug this along, pretty much all along each piece of meat. You're gonna, you know, put about 15, 20 holes. When you pull it out slow and and slowly push the plunger down at the same time, you'll see some of the injection come out with it. Which, and that's okay, but you'll also see pockets of the injection and pump the breast meat up too. So, but that's it. And you just do another one. I'm not going to put a whole ton of in here, just in a few spots in each. You can put as much as you want or as little, but I'm not going to over inject. Just a few spots in each breast and a few spots in each That's thigh. enough. That's enough of the injection. Like I said, you can put as much or as little of, of injection as you want in. It's up to you. Just like everything I tell you, it's personal preference. So the amount of um, injection is totally up to you. Now, since I got them injected, I'm going to go ahead and put some more of this running wild poultry seasoning on the outside. And since we are, we did debone these trick it off the bone. I am going to season both sides. So I'm going to go ahead nice generous coat on this side. Make sure I get any flaps of skin. Kind of move those so that you can get exposed. And we're going to put some more seasoning on before we <music> out of the sous vide bath and I got my grill going I'm gonna I turn it up as high as it'll go I want to get it up to around 450 or higher so I can get the skin really crispy on this I'm gonna go ahead and pat this dry it is still kind of wet and remember we cooked the uh, dark meat just a little bit hotter like 10 degrees hotter than the uh, white meat so we could render more fat and what I did I took the juice from the bag and um, I just dumped it in my stock pot to where we're going to do the uh, make some more stock. So I'm going to go ahead and get this all padded dry here. Make sure I got my skin on the top, my breasts here. And get this all padded dry. And then I'm going to put just a little bit more of the uh, Running Wild seasoning. Here, it's a piece of turkey. It's cooked. Got my running wild. And I'm going to go ahead and put just a little bit more on the outside of here. Just for another. Well, some of that flavor had um, came off in the bag, I'm sure. I'm just going to do it on the top. I'm not going to put it on both sides. So just on the top here and we'll see how that turns out I'll do it on the legs because they need it on both sides sure I'll do it on all of them what the heck I'll splurge just do a little bit of seasoning on both sides and we're gonna cook this probably a good um, 
for another good 45 minutes on the um, Camp Chef pellet grill. Get some color to it and get it up to temp. I will stick a temp probe in here to monitor the, the breast just to make sure it doesn't cook too much higher than uh, what we had it at. So. on there right about 30 minutes I got some mm, nice color to it you can see the white meat looks a little bit different than the dark meat dark meat got a little bit more color I'm gonna take a bite of the dark meat here hitting the bone <laughs> get a piece of the meat here A little bit of the skin. You can see that. Skin's got a golden color to it. Meat's juicy. Mmm. Well, that's pretty good. You can tell that the fat on this one, the fat did render a lot more than on the other sous vide one I did. Just cooking at that 158. It's a lot juicier on the thigh than it was on the uh, other one but this I can tell here that this breast is not quite as juicy as the other one that I did and I guess it's because I separated it from the uh, cavity but it's still pretty juicy it's just not juicy running out like it was on the other one and it's definitely not dry both of them are fantastic Try it out, guys. You know, um, pick the one you want to do. You know, spatchcocking was great. This way is great. Um, it's all you know, in the matter of how you want to do it, what you feel comfortable with. But both of them turned out great. I'm not gonna, you know, say either one of them, one over the other. Like I said, the one that was spatchcock was probably just a little bit more juicy in the breast than this one. But both of them are fantastic. This one, I can, I can tell, taste that uh, injection really good. So, all right, I'm getting ready to feed my family, and I will see you guys on the next video. Please like this video, subscribe, hit the notification button so that you can find out when the next videos post, and find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.